Hi everybody, my name's Alicia and I work for the State Library of New South Wales and today I've got something very exciting to show you. Today I would like for you to meet the Tart family because here at the State Library we have got lots of very special treasures that have been kept by members of the Tart family for years and years and years. Here's a picture of the whole family. This is Dad. His name is Meek Wong Tart but most people just called him Kwong Tart. Kwong Tart was born in China, and when he was eight years old, he moved to Australia with his uncle. This is mum. Her name was Margaret Tart. Margaret was born in England and moved to Australia when she was young. How many children do you think Kwong and Scarlett had? Well, we can see one, two, three, four, and five children. And they had another baby a few years after this picture was taken. These pictures are in black and white because they were taken such a long time ago, long before colour photos were invented. Back before everybody had a camera in their smartphone that they carried around with them, cameras were big and heavy and expensive. So some people felt very lucky if they had even one photograph taken of them in their entire life. Kwong Tart went back to China to visit his parents. And because he didn't have a camera with him, he arranged for a beautiful painting to be made of his mother. This is it here. The Tart family also kept lots of other things too. Here we have some letters written to Kwong and Margaret. They kept all of these things to remind them of all of the important things that happened to their family and so that they could share their stories with their children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Now we keep all of these special treasures in the State Library of New South Wales to keep them safe and share them with people just like you. I wonder if your family has any special treasures like the Tart family does. If you don't have letters or scrapbooks, you might still have somebody in your family who can share some wonderful stories about the past. Have a think about some questions that you might like to ask your grandparent, your parent, or any other special grown-up in your life about what their life was like in the past. 